Hey, it's me, Ari Dossett, I'm Kamal Rashid, I'm an anthropologist and sociologist. If charges are pressed against someone at the courthouse, what will happen? Well, a small investigation will begin to see whether the charge is credible. For example, if you file a report of stalking, but the individual who stalk you is not even social media, and they don't even live in the country, um, that's not a credible charge. Or if you make press a rape charge against someone, an individual has been deceased for a while, or the individual has been, it's, it's proven the individual is not even in the country. Or the story you told the police doesn't add up, contradicts itself, it's not a credible charge. So once a charge is pressed against you, either by a civilian or by the state itself to the prosecutor, an investigation begins. Someone will gather evidence against you if they find leads and clues that the charge is credible. So it's not that, oh, someone pressed a charge against you. Next day you're arrested out of the blue. No. Often, before they press the charge, there's already an investigation with evidence uh, delivered. And then the evidence is checked. And once there's enough to build a case, then they send the officers to arrest you. I'm not saying that there are no jurisdictions where it happens in a, in a chaotic, unreasonable way. They just arrest you and then start to look if there's something against you. But normally, there must be a case against you before they send the officers to arrest you. Now, I'm using this as a parable, okay? Evil spirits don't just go out there and do their thing on you. Yes, evil spirits, when it comes to fallen angels, which are, there are half, bill, a half billion of them on the earth, they don't just attack out of the blue. They don't just do this. Because they know if they can't control themselves that way, there will be heavily intervention, <laughs> and they don't want that. So Satan gave evil spirits some rules to follow. And that because evil spirits are parasites and they need to feed off the human species, they have no choice but to act on behalf of the public. For example, let's say there's a demon of lust, okay? Now lust can be a lot of things. Lust simply means a strong desire. You can have a strong desire for pizza, a strong desire to go on a holiday, or a strong desire for sex. Lust is just strong desire. So let's say you have a spirit of lust related to strong sexual desires. This demon will not out of the blue just jump on you and start triggering things in you. No. The demon will only do that if there is a case against you from the public. So let's say a lot of people around you are suggesting and talking about you back to you're some pervert. People labeled you as some sexual pervert behind your back. Is there any proof of that? No. It's just that they envisioned you to be this pervert and now they want their expectation to be validated. So what happens now when people are murmuring and complaining behind your back and they're triggering this dark electric charge against you in the Earth's atmosphere, demons are activated by this dark electric charge and as a result, a demon of loss is activated to enact the expectation of the public. Or let's say there's a tragedy spirit around. It happened to you over and over again, you almost got into accidents. What goes on over here? You are the target of psychic violence. A lot of people don't like you, can't stand you, they wish you were gone. A lot of people can't stand you, blah, blah. So all this dark electric charge against you in the Earth's atmosphere, it triggers tragedy against you. First of all, the psychic violence causes you to malfunction. All that, all that, all those dark shots hitting your energy field will cause you malfunction. That malfunction is subtly to accidents. But while you're under all those uh, dark shots hitting you, trashy demons are activated also. That's how it goes. Evil spirits are parasites that leech off the public, so, so they will act on behalf of the public. And demons will not act unless there's a charge against you. So a trashy spirit is not just going to hop on someone and trigger some accident to happen. 
No, because if the trash spirit would do that, he would be in trouble with other demons. And he would be in trouble also with holy angelic beings that can intervene from heaven. The thing is, if a demon would act without a charge, he's in trouble because a demon act without a charge would be too obvious that it's a paranormal thing and it would open people's eyes. And demons would then lose their leverage over the mass. No, demons want to act on behalf of the public, behind the scenes, so that nobody knows that they're the ones involved. But guess what? If people are meditating harm on you, or if they are disliking you or looking down on you, and now a tragedy spirit acts out, he's acting out on behalf of the dark charge placed there by human beings. Now the demon is still guilty and to blame, demons shouldn't act out, but hey, the demon is a parasite. So anytime human beings trigger dark charges or activating demons, so if a demon acts out now, the demon will not be in trouble with other demons. Because all demons would say, uh, Heavenly Father, we act on behalf of human beings. They're the ones triggering us or feeding us the dark charges. This, this is their will. So now the demons are hiding behind the public. Now the demons are still to blame, but A, the demons are correct. The public is to blame for putting this dark charge out there. Now the demons are still to blame for getting along with what the public wants, but it's the public that activated the demon. It's the public that sent the demon. You get know I me? Mean? So, if there is demonic infestation around you, or if there's some demonic assault around you, don't just focus on the evil spirits, no. Check what the charge is. There is a charge going on. If there, wa if there was no charge, the demons would not act like that. Demons have been around for thousands of years on the earth. Since they've been banned from heaven, they are experienced. They know very well how to hide themselves behind the public's negativity. So, anytime you notice there are weird occurrences in your life, calm down, reflect back, and check where the charge is coming from. And listen, it, the charge comes from the public somewhere. The people who are charging you with this dark electric -like charge, you likely will not repent and confront them in person, may even escalate further. But overrule them through prayer decrees declarations and where possible, avoid those people in daily life. Just understand, just like police officers, don't just go out there to arrest you without an, a credible charge and a credible case against you. Demons will not go after any individual without a case from the public. Demons act on behalf of cases created by the public. So deal with the case. He also dealt with the demonic assault. Of course you have to cast the demons out, do all of that, but deal with the case. That's it for now. Keep on Christ to be at peace. And I'll see you next live stream. Shalom.